Sharon Carter has access to an arsenal of weapons, but she's going to pass her weapons to the rest of the team. When you use your special power, before attacks are started, so before people start laying down attack cards, you're going to call out that you're using your special power. You're going to take four cards from the top of the draw pile. You're going to look at them and you're going to give them to two or more heroes. So you can't give all four to a single hero. You can give two to one person, one to another, and one to another. You can give three to one person and one to another. You can give two to one person and two to another. You can give one out to all four people. And you can talk about how you're thinking about your strategy. Remember, you just can't be specific about the cards that you're giving. If you're shield, you wanna use this power to test people's loyalty. You'd wanna give the red cards to people who you suspect are shield, so that they don't play them, and the blue cards to people that you suspect are hydra, because you're trying to bait them into playing them. Or, if they don't play them, now you know that they're hydra. When you're hydra, you're gonna to wanna to give your partner high cards of either color, and you're gonna to wanna to give shield members low cards of either color. I recommend giving at least one blue card to one shield member just to help build that loyalty a little bit more. Now, something cool that you should remember, there's text on the bottom of all these cards. When you're giving these cards out, I would recommend trying to remember the text on the cards because once they show up in the team's attack, you can identify who I gave that card to. But remember, you can't be specific about it. Something you should note though, in this deck of 80 cards, 40 of the texts are unique and they're doubled one time in the deck.